Okay, I'm going to show you guys a, uh, a little um, electric outboard that I'm making for my kayak. Uh, excuse the video quality, the um, camera I'm using is not extremely good. Well, this is my first prototype, but this one's actually not too good at all. The reason behind that is the gear ratio inside here doesn't get the prop spinning as fast as I need for it to actually give me a decent amount of propulsion. So. What I've done is I've had a look around and I've got a um, old weed eater as most people know them or a whipper snipper as we know them here in Australia. Anyway, so what I've got is uh got a whipper snipper and as you would have seen there's a lot of uh different type of this whipper snipper motors out there for outboards, but the thing I'm finding is the actual whipper snipper itself doesn't have the torque or the power to actually turn that blade as efficiently as what I'm about to show you. But what I've got is this particular whipper snipper here is an attachment and it's detachable. So what I've done is I've used an attachment that's usually used for lawn edging. And I've ripped off the shroud, I've left the blade and bent the actual blade themselves to give a bit of a, a twist on the blade. So when you remove the actual attachment, out comes a little shaft. So that's the prop in that there, and that's the closest thing I can get to a prop now. Also, with the prototype, I had issues uh, trying to make a prop for it. I could probably make one for it, but um, as I was saying, with the gear ratio, and then once I pulled it apart, it seems a little bit small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my just a cordless drill, and I've actually pulled one apart. Thing there now. That's an 18 volt cordless drill, and uh, this is actually in the process of being developed into the rest of the motor. This will all go into a waterproof enclosure once I attach it all, chop down the shaft a little bit. I'll extend these cables out to have the controller near my cockpit on my kayak, and that's where I'll control it from. Um, this is an 18 volt cordless drill, which runs at 18 volts, it'll actually run. 1300 RPM, so it's actually not too bad for this particular project. Now the drill I'm going to show you is a 12 volt, and it runs, I think, 1200 RPMs on this one. So bear with me, and I'll pull the shaft out of this particular girl. Now, one part, walking it on. Screw the drill onto the end of the shaft, and that's basically the way it looks at the moment. So, what you get is anyway, I've twisted those edges to keep the prop as I showed before, but uh, the variable speeds. I'm actually going to series up uh, two, two 24 volt batteries, uh, two 12 volt batteries to give me 24 volts, and that should give me a little bit more power. Now the draw rate on that motor is not overly going to be um, too high, so those batteries should give me a fair bit of charge time, as you can imagine. But um, for this one, this much power is 12 volt. If you're looking to do something similar anyway, um, there's a few ideas in that for you. 
I've sealed the shaft and that down in there with a couple of waterproof seals and that inside the actual shaft of this particular item itself. You know, the shaft, um, that actual attachment come with my whipper snipper. So I've actually still got the original attachment there as you can see and I'm not going to utilise that as a boat prop or anything like that. It's going to stay as my gardening tool. And um, this one here I've actually never been able to use properly so what better use for it? Anyway, hope you like it, hope you get some ideas from it and um, I'll uh, show you what it actually goes like when I mount it onto my kayak for a test run. Alright guys.